Namo Sakya Muni Buddha. Dear Venerable Sangha, Buddhist ladies and gentlemen, you are invited to join us in this weekly Buddhist news reel on Fasu Online Channel. Here after seven major headlines of Buddhist activities of the week. The Dharma Master visits Most Venerable Tathantu at Thung Ju Zen Monastery. Hanoi, Most Venerable Thich Bao Nghi visits and motivates patients at National Institute of Hematology and Blood Transfusion. Hanoi, Buddhist Guide Section organizes the second Tangalong Salience Camping. Pase Laos, Base Consul General of Socialist Republic of Vietnam, visits Tam Bao Temple, Da Nang City. Dong Tap, Most Venerable Thich Hue Thong, Sermonizes Sangha Chapter and Regulations for Monastic Affairs Section at Vietnam Buddhist Sangha. Dong Tap, Venerable Thich Phuc Nguyen shares his experience in monastic management with 300 trainees during administration course. Long An, Most Venerable Thich Tho Lạc shares about Buddhist culture at Abbot Refreshering and Sangha's administration course. The following are the news in details. During the Vassal on June 28th, the Most Venerable Elder Thich Duy Quang, Dharma Master of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha and the group of Venerable Monks, went to Thường Ju Zen Monastery in Dong Nai Province to meet Zen Master Thich Thanh Tư, Deputy Dharma Master of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, Master of Trúc Lâm Zen Sect at the age of 100. Welcoming the Dharma Master and his delegation, Most Venerable Thich Nhật Quang, Head of Trúc Lâm Zen Sect Management Board, expressed his honor together with representatives of Trúc Lâm Zen Sect from the three regions to welcome the Dharma Master. Dharma Master said that during the retreat season, on behalf of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, he conveyed best wishes to the Venerable Elder's health and said that although he rarely visits the Master, he still remembers his Dharma brother at the former South Vietnamese Buddhist school when also a student of the late Venerable Thích Thị Hoa. At that time, Most Venerable Thích Thanh Tư was a famous master and bridged across the provinces in the South. He expressed his respect for Zen Master Thích Thanh Tư, the essence of his practice and his intention to restore the Trúc Lâm Zen sect. He always thinks of Venerable Trúc Lâm and thinks of Diêu Ngự Giác Hoàng. This is the lifeline of the religious sect. He expected the spirit of Trúc Lâm Zen sect to develop even more strongly today and in the future. The Dharma Master of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha shared with the monks and nuns of Trúc Lâm Zen sect about the shining example of Zen Master Thích Thanh Tư. The core of the practice is to realize and enter the holy line. He encouraged monks and nuns, Buddhists diligently practicing the Buddha's teachings, to be worthy of the continuation of Trúc Lâm Zen system for nearly four decades. Zen Master Thích Thanh Tư revitalized the Trúc Lâm Zen sect. He established many monasteries in the country and abroad. There are more than 200 large and small monasteries across the country and around the world with over 5,000 monks and nuns and 100,000 Buddhist laity taking refuge. On the afternoon of June 27, 2023, Most Venerable Thich Bao Nghiêm, Vice Chairman of the Administrative Council, Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, Head of the Dharma Evangelism Section at Buddhist at Bang Pagoda, Hanoi City conducted his socialization and presented at the gifts to support patients being treated at the National Institute of Hematology and Blood Transfusion. The Venerable Master expressed sympathy, sharing with the patients, as well as understanding the difficulties and hardships of the medical team treating and caring for each patient day and night. Buddhism believes that every person we meet in this world can be our body bodhisattva for many lifetimes and many lives. Therefore, the most venerable hope that the doctors and nurses would treat the sick as their own relatives and use the medical ethics of the doctor to treat them wholeheartedly because the Buddha taught that among the eight blessings, the greatest blessing is taking care of patients. The venerable master also hoped that the patients would support each other, help and love each other, follow the doctor's treatment medical plans and try to think positively to overcome the painful disease. On this occasion, the monks and Buddhists of Bang Bagoda gave 200 gifts to support patients, 
including milk, cash and rice grocery, with a total value of nearly 100 million Vietnam dong. The most vulnerable personally gave each patient a bracelet with the wish that the patient gets well soon to be discharged from the hospital. In order to promote the process of exchanging, learning and cultivating ethnics among Buddhist youth clubs in 24 provinces and cities in the north, at the same time creating a healthy playground for junior students, the Buddhist guide section of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha had a camp with the theme The Second Thang Lam Salience Camping at Kai Nguyen Pagoda, Hanoi City from June 24th to 27, 2023. After reviewing the rules and regulations of the camp, the students were shown to an Azai area to set up a camp and eagerly decorated the camp according to the chosen theme of each province. The students were instructed to eat their meals in silence, keep their bodies and mind poor, and express gratitude to those who provided the food and served the meals. The camping is an opportunity for young Buddhists to be instructed in the spirit of gratitude to the Buddha, serving the three jewels, loving the homeland, appreciation and gratitude to grandparents and parents, preserving the national cultural identity, participating in social charity work, be aware of environmental protection, live a good and moral life. Participating in the camp, campers can listen to sermons and sutra chanting, meditate, walk, question and answer the Buddha Dharma and parade as well as experience folk games, campfires, etc. The camp ended on the afternoon of June 27th after four days of many meaningful activities. The campers had the opportunity to exchange, learn and nurture the spirit of gratitude, participating in social charity works, be aware of environmental protection and live a good life. In his homily, Most Venerable Thich Thanh Dinh praised the campers for their effort during the camping. Most Venerable advised the young lady to study diligently, cherish their character properties, and apply the Buddha's teachings to life. The gold cup of the camp prize belonged to the campers from Nghệ An province. The organizing board also awarded prizes to campers participating in the competition to learn about Buddhism, big game, art, parade, came fire, etc. The children also had the opportunity to ask and answer questions about the Buddhism, with more than 50 questions about Buddhism, as well as a talk show on traffic safety, youth and Buddhism, and filial piety. Questions about issues such as, what are the three jewels? Buddha was born in what year? Where did Buddhism originate? Who is the current most venerable Dharma prelate of the Council of Patrons? And who is the chairman of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha Parochial Council? At the thematic seminar on traffic safety, the traffic policeman gave many quiz questions to convey traffic safety messages, such as wearing a helmet when participating in traffic and staying in the right lane. Venerable Thất Minh Quang also reminded young people to do a good job, avoid evil, keep their minds clean, and be grateful and filial. On the afternoon of June 24, 2023, Mr. Nguyen Văn Trung, Consul General of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam, led a delegation to visit Tam Bao Temple in Da Nang City. Welcoming the delegation, Venerable Thất Pháp Hiu, Abbot of Tam Bao Temple, introduced the history of Tam Bao Temple. This is the ancestral house of Theravada Buddhism in the central region since 1953, where many Vietnam Laos memories are kept by the Consul General of the Lao People Democratic Republic and Lao students, such as the three robes, fruit-shaped bowl, and the changed the wheel Buddha trees, Dharma Bidestro, Sorcerer Magic Fan, Gongs, and the Sacred Lao Drum. Tam Bao Temple is a frequent destination of the Lao community, especially a large number of Lao students to worship Buddha, offer incense to pray at the beginning of the year, and perform traditional Buddhist rituals, naturally feeling like they are in their own homeland. The abbot also regularly nurtures Laotian monks to study at the university in Da Nang. Mr. Nguyen Văn Trung greetings and good health wishes to the Vietnamese and Lao monks. At the same time, he expressed his gratitude to the variables of Tambao Temple 
and expressed his joy at the characteristics of Theravada Buddhism, which regularly welcomes many Lao Khatris and students to go to the temple, becoming a special feature of the temple. Beautiful spiritual culture and brotherly friendship between Vietnam and Laos. At the end of the visit, the Consul General of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam performed a candlelight ceremony to offer the Buddhists to pray for the national peace, world peace, and decent living beings. On June 28, Most Honorable Thich Huệ Thông, head of the Central Jurisprudence Section of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, sermonized on Sangha Charter and the regulations of the Central Monastic Affairs Section at Phukong Pagoda, Sadek City. Most Venerable Thich Huệ Thông emphasized, the Sangha Charter was formed from the very first day of the establishment of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, along with the rules of the Central Monastic Affairs Section. The unity of Buddhism in Vietnam is built on the following principles unity of will and action, unity of leadership and organization, while still respecting and maintaining the traditions of the sects, as well as the methods and means of practicing righteous dharma. The seventh amendment charter basically inherits the content and provisions of the current charter. The revised charter has 14 chapters, including the primable and 87 articles. The Most Venerable also added that, in the midst of civilized society and modern technology, the abbot must not only be within the school of the temple's activities to receive the monks and ladies, but also have to show a sense of responsibility to the community in the field of education. In addition, the abbot is advised to integrate into life under any circumstances so that he can practice compassion, set a good example for the masses to follow, and unite to cultivate friendship and peace on the righteous path. On June 27, 2023, Venerable Thich Phuc Nguyen, head office two of the Central Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, shared the topic rolling out resolution of the National Buddhist Delegate Congress tenure 9 2022 to 2027 and presenting elements of management to the Buddhist monks of Dong Tha province and over 300 students. The venerable preacher emphasized that the duty of the abbot is to commit himself to sowing the seeds of the body, to carry out the mission of spreading the Dharma for profit and for spreading the beautiful teachings of the Buddha over the places. The venerable shared the elements of management and leadership including planning, personal organization, leadership, and compliance, self-management, honesty, thinking of speech, deeds, ability to perceive, know who you are, self-mastery, mastery of body, speech, and might, humility, listening, admitting mistakes, and giving credit to others. When one can manage oneself, one will be able to manage many areas. Leadership. Monks must be qualified with a vision, making the right choices within the self-ability. Vietnamese people have cultural characteristics, the science of personnel. Governance, referring to the system or organization, is to set goals. Leadership, referring to people, is the ability to influence others. Leadership refers to people. Governance is about the organizational system people trained and learning to have enough leadership capacity in an organization. And the art of management is to operate the system smoothly to get the best results. The Venerable reminded the Venerable monks and nuns to show virtue and wisdom and flexibly apply the teaching ads appropriate to the times to fulfill the responsibilities and duties of the abbot, propagating the righteous teachings, Dharma, to bring benefits to human beings. On the morning of June 27, 2023, Most Venerable Thich Lak, head of the Central Culture Section, delivered a talk about Buddhist culture at Kim Gang Pagoda, Thu Thua District, Long An, during the 21st course of Abbot, Refreshing and Sangha Administration. At the talk session, Most Venerable Thich Thor Lak emphasized the focus on Vietnamese Buddhist culture, explained clearly tangible culture and intangible culture. The Venerable Master also said that, the culture section had been implementing four projects in the spirit of harmonizing Theravada, Khmer, Mahayana, and Mendicant sects. The culture section has successfully organized the workshop on an architecture and heritage project. Currently, the central culture section is also coordinating with the departments of architecture, 
national heritage to appraise the relics for consensus in adversity. In particular, most venerable Tikalak also praised Longan Provincial Buddhist Parochial Board for applying the unity of the ritual vestment. He hoped that the venerable monks and nuns would coordinate with Vietnamese craft villages by supporting the selection of products with Buddhist cultural symbols to be worshipped in the inner and outer courtyards of the temple to convey the spirit of the Buddha. Symbols, lotus in the sea of fire, the spirit of the nine examples of the lotus suja, Buddha Emperor Chen Yantong, immortal heart, turning the Dharma well, to be able to identify Vietnamese Buddhism through architectural heritage, through language and ritual service vestment. It is also one evangelism that propagates the Dharma for life prophets and brings the religion to life naturally. Venerable monks and nuns, Buddhist ladies and gentlemen, the last new head side of this weekly newsreel. Thank you for your attention and following. Goodbye and see you in the next program on PSO TV channel. Namu Sakya Muni Buddha.